What's going on everybody? This is Random Reviews and today we're going to do <clears throat> episode 93. Today we're going to do another round. Yes, I saw the Oscars last night. Well, technically I didn't. I already know all the winners anyway. And some of them I am disappointed. With Best Picture, I'm very disappointed because Nomadland sucks. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know how that was even nominated or how that even was... One for best picture, which makes no sense whatsoever. It's like, whatever. I thought the father was going to win for sure. Or even Judas and the Black Messiah, but whatever. But anyway, let's see. Um, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, Another Round. Which is a movie that came out last year. Which technically didn't come out this year, but whatever. I mean, it is a movie from Denmark, so yeah, I guess it did take a long time. So yes, another round, here we go. You can watch this now on Hulu, probably for a limited time, because they probably were like, oh yeah, let's give people a chance to watch our foreign films in America. Let's just put our movies on there for free. No extra charge. So of course, this is about four high school students consume alcohol on a daily basis to see how it affects their social and professional lives. Yeah, this was okay. That's my second movie from Denmark. It's like, okay. And of course, the first one being an animated movie, which is called Well No the Barbarian, which I'll cover eventually on this channel. Yes, I'll cover that eventually on this channel. But yeah. Another round. It's just alright. I like the idea what they were going for. That's why in Letterboxd I gave it a 3 out of 5, but... <clears throat> again, it's just not great. Yeah. Another round. I honestly did not like it. I don't know. I only wanted to watch it because I heard so many of my other friends on Letterboxd watched it. And I was like, okay, I might give this a shot. <laughs> if I could find it. And then I've been seeing a lot of four and a half, five, four stars. It's like, okay, this might be really good. And then I watched it. I was like, what the hell was that? And it's like, this one for best foreign film. And it's like, this is the first time in history I've actually watched a foreign film. That one for best picture. Well, watching a foreign film in general. But yeah. I mean, as much as I love Mads Mikkelsen, but it's just like, it's just, I don't know, I really did not enjoy this movie as much as everybody else did. I like the premise, but it's just, uh, it was okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that, it was okay. That's why Letterboxd, I gave it a 3 out of 5. I'll give this, out of 10, I don't know. I guess a 5 out of 10, I guess. Which is somewhere in that range. Yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's just not average, it's just... Just above, just average, it's just fine, I guess. Yeah. Plus I gotta watch it with subtitles, which is the worst part. But, whatever. Yes, unless this is based on a true story, and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's like, I like the idea, but it's just, I get it, well, it's not great. So yeah, see you guys next time for a video game review. Yes, we're finally doing those again. And it's a game I beat recently. I know, shocker. It's like when I'm not making videos, I'm just watching either movies or TV shows to do for this channel, or just playing video games on the side. Of course, we're talking about Paper Mario the Origami King. I know it's kind of weird to do a foreign film and then a video game. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys next time for Paper Mario the Origami King. See you guys later. Peace.